skin that smoke wagon and see what happens. How's that for a slice of fried gold? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know how this machine worked. It seems to run on some form of electricity. And it was wrong. It was a bad call, Ripley. It was a bad call. Bad call. Right. Some are good for fighting, others for dying. It's just two movies. Welcome, welcome, Bean, Bean, Bean. Um, welcome back to the. It's just two movies. Another, but we're doing another podcast. Nate's here. Hello. You remember Nate from other times that Nate's been on the show? Uh, if it's your first time tuning in, you don't remember Nate or me. Uh, but what we do here is we talk about two movies. One of them, prolifically uh, good. Usually. Yeah, usually. Usually. And the other one, uh, normally not so much. Uh, my name is Daniel King. Wait, I already fucking said that. Well, no. <laughs> Uh, it's we're recording on a Thursday night, which we <laughs> I, I never do. I think I m- might have done this one other time in the like three years, three or four years we've been making this show. Uh, so I'm a little off my game. But uh, today we are talking about an absolute favorite of of one of my films. And uh, I didn't even pick it, Nate. This was your pick. Uh, yes, it was. We watched Terminator. Yes. The Terminator. The Terminator. If for some reason you've never seen The Terminator uh, and you're listening to this podcast, you have unusual taste. Uh, (laughs) But it is an R-rated 1984 action sci-fi film, one hour, 47 minute runtime. It has a 8.1 out of 10 on IMDb, a solid 100 on Rotten Tomatoes, and an 84 on Metacritic. 92% of Google users... Yeah, they were into this. Uh, let's see here. This release date, October 26, 1984, directed by James Cameron. Never heard of him. Um, a screenplay written by James Cameron, Gail Ann Hurd, and William Wisher Jr. The budget, $6.4 million U.S. dollars, uh, distributed by uh, Orion Pictures, and cinematography by Mr. Adam Greenberg. Uh, let's see here. Who's in this motherfucker? Uh, you might know Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, there's Maybe. Linda Hamilton, Michael Bean, ba- Bain, ba- Bain, Michael ba- ba- God, ba- Bain. Baron. I can't, I can't ba- shake the ba- feeling that it's got to be Bean. It's B I E H N. B I E H N. You write in. You let me know. You can always contact us at it's just two movies at gmail dot com. Also stars Paul Winfield, uh, Lance Hendrickson, uh, Ross R- R- No Rick Rossovich. Sorry, I had me all fucked up. Uh, best Moda. Uh, best Moda. Earl Bowen, uh, Dick Miller, Sean Sheps, and I don't even care about some of those. Uh, here's who I really wanted to mention is, of course, Bill Paxton and uh, Brian Thompson, uh, also uh, in there shortly, uh, along with Brad Reardon, but I didn't recognize him from anything. Um, so, Nate. Yes. For someone that's never seen The Terminator, and I'm guessing probably any other movies, what would you say this is about without spoiling it? Um... So there is a man who's not actually a man, but a robot, but he's not actually a robot. Whoa, whoa, whoa spoilers. <laughs> That's a third act of the fucking movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, go on. Okay. Yeah. I'm, um, I'm where, where was I? Uh, right, he's not actually a robot, but a cyborg, but he's not really a cyborg, because that's not what cyborgs are. Terms are a little muddy. Yeah. Anyways, he's a Terminator, so he terminates. Yep. That's the movie. <laughs> yeah, yep. I mean, yeah, pretty much. Uh, this is, uh, there's a there's a bit in this film where they, they do what I think is, like, just the right amount of exposition. Because you kind of are like, what the it fuck is... is going on? And they're like, here, let me tell you real quick. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, okay. This sound, I'm excited then. This sounds interesting. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead, full spoilers for Terminator. If you haven't seen it, I don't. Go watch a movie, I guess. Um, there's a re- How have you not watched it? Yeah, there's a reason it's got 100 on Rotten Tomatoes, man. I mean, just The Terminator is just a fucking solid movie through and through. It is very good. Yeah. Um, if I were going to nitpick it, um, I'm j- well, obviously we're jumping around. We'll talk about right. the story. Uh, but if I were going to nitpick it, there are two scenes. I'm sure you know what they are that I just am like. That didn't age well, but the rest (laughs) of the movie is done so fucking well, Mm -hmm. really doesn't matter. Right. You're talking about 30 seconds where you're like, 
Well, that's just a fake rubber. It's just a that's fake, just a fake face. Yeah, it's just a fake face. Yeah, it's fucking <laughs> kind of uncomfortable to look at. Very uncanny valley. Very, yeah, yeah. It's not ideal. No, no, it's not. Oh, fucking Arnie's cool as shit though. But yeah. um, yeah. So what's going on in the story is you've got it's the future machines. They've taken over. Well, what do you think of the future? Like, just the look of the future. I mean, apart from it being very grim. I wonder how... Why? You know? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta give me a little more... <laughs> give me a little more than that, Nate. Right, but why? Why are the robots acting... Well, cyborgs acting that way? Uh-huh. Yeah. I mean, there's some things that... It, it, are you familiar with the Terminator Netflix series? It just was... came, it just came out like like as we're recording this, it came out like late last week, I think. Like it's it's pretty what? brand fucking new. How I haven't how have I not known about this? It's a it's a fucking animated series. I watched uh, what? Four, yeah, it's an animated like an anime, but it's the Terminator. Um, but it's about a, a, like an alternate future, for, like from a different part of the world, from different perspective of different characters. Right, but by this point, there's like fifty of those. Yeah, yeah, and most <laughs> of them are fucking bad. Um, you know what? Terminator One, awesome. Terminator Two, awesome for different reasons. Yeah. Uh, the rest of them, bad. <laughs> They're all bad. <laughs> I know the Sarah Cron- uh, Sarah Connor Chronicles got some pretty high praise, uh, having been burned by the subsequent fucking 14 Terminator movies. Uh, I know there's not that many of them, but they're, they're bad. They're all bad. I don't like any of them. Didn't one of them, John Connor, end up being a bad guy? Man, I feel like that's three. I feel <laughs> I feel like that's Terminator 3. Term- they're they're just so, they're so fucking like, just, you lost it. You lost the thread somewhere. You know, you just needed to go back and watch Terminator 1 one more time before you were like, you know what? Let's make of this fucking movie. Uh, like, one and two have these totally different things that just that make them very uh, unique. I absolutely feeling. adore number two. Yeah, I li- I really enjoy number two. Oh. I like it for much different reasons. Yeah, uh, since we're kind of into our ooh, Halloween content or what you know, I'm f- I fuck I I make content. If I ever call myself a content creator, I'll <laughs> blow my fucking brains out. Uh, but I I do make content. Uh, like many of you, don't not pointing any fingers at people of the world, um, but uh, fuck, I was going somewhere with that, and I I, I, I too know. have lost the thread. I, I can't help. I just, We're losing a lot of threads here. I Terminator three that. Um, <laughs> okay, so Day. so what's going on? You've got you've got the fucking Terminator. He's sent back in time. He shows up. He's naked in the street, and he's fucking yoked, baby. And then fucking, you got another guy. He comes behind him. Who's this guy? What's his story? A lot he's of a lot skinnier. Here. Yeah, he's a lot skinnier. He's a <laughs> lot thinner than the other fella. Uh, looks like he's missed a few meals, you know. Uh, yeah. Not the not that other boy. He's he's big. Um, but I, so there 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 is a certain level of mystery right from the get go. Yeah. The only thing you could really glean is that Arnold is it starts and he's naked and he's walking through a place and he gets in a machine and he, you can see him kind of like. Do they show him actually coming off the assembly line? No. They just kind of show it him just like waking shows up. Shows him wake him up. Yeah. yeah. So he just wakes up and he walks. You can hear like his heavy ass fucking footfalls and shit. Pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, yeah, he gets in the time machine and he goes back. You don't know who he is, what his deal is, what's going on. Same thing with Reese. Fucking, he just shows up. You don't get much of his backstory at all. No. I think you get a couple of clips of him in the future. I yeah, but you don't really get any super clear shots of him of of him and be like, yeah. oh, that's that guy from that ten second clip right. five minutes ago or whatever. Um, well, what the fuck are these guys doing in the far flung past of Jesus? What what year is it? Uh, what year is it? Was it eighty <sighs> two? Eighty four. Eighty four. Yep, yep. Travels from twenty twenty nine to 1984 wow spoiler uh five years until skynet comes online guys um we almost made it (laughs) uh so he's coming back to kill sarah connor uh, because her son in the future fucking turns the tide of the war against the machines for mankind Mm -hmm. 
is fucking is the Matrix just reverse Terminator? Hmm. Yeah, stew on that for a second. It's kind of reverse Terminator. Instead of the bad guys going to someplace different to fight, to, to like to kill the chosen one or whatever, the chosen one goes to a different place to destroy the bad guys. But it's still I see it's what still you machines. You know what I mean? A little yeah. cyclical there. Interesting to think about. But weren't the bad guys in the Matrix like some kind of alien race? I don't know. They're, they're, fuck, I haven't seen the Matrix in forever. <laughs> like, I watched it once when it came out, and I was like, oh, yeah, aliens, robots. Uh, yeah, I was like, oh, eh, yeah. I don't know. It's pretty cool, but I don't know. I don't know. It never really blew me away when people are like, no, he's Jesus. And I'd be like, I don't know. I get it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I get it. Believe me. They, they let me know. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I just never really was blown away by the Matrix. But anyway, so the Terminator is coming to kill Linda Hamilton's character, Sarah Connor, uh, because her son eventually fucking turns the war or whatever. So what the fuck is Kyle Reese doing there? Kyle Reese is going to save Linda Hamilton's character because her son, like, you know, leads the charge against humanity coming back and having a fighting chance. I thought his first name was Reese. Uh, let's see here. No, Kyle Reese. Oh. Played, played by Michael Bean. Bine. But Bane. Bane. But Bane. But it Bane. doesn't. Say, it doesn't look. When I say Bane. Bane, it does not. It does not look right. So it the, might be right, but it doesn't look right. The key is to kind of be in between all of the vowels. That way, you there's like a fifty percent chance you're right, but yeah. you don't know which one. Yeah, I don't know. Michael Ben. <laughs> yeah, Michael Benning. <laughs> Bean. Fuck it, I don't know. I'm going with Bean guy. Anyway, <laughs> he's all right. Uh, uh, one thing I want to say the the. the, the 95% of the movie is just Arnold Schwarzenegger, Linda Hamilton, and Michael Bean. Fuck him. Uh, and boy, they are all just putting on the performance of their lifetime. Like, uh, phenomenal stuff. Maybe yeah. not Arnold Schwarzenegger. They're like, hey, dial it way the fuck back. Think of yourself like a printer. I guess. Well, he's a machine. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So he does great at that. Yeah. Um, and the weird, like, dialogue disconnect with his accent and shit just yeah. totally fucking works. Like, works way better. Um, weird that he was, like, the perfect choice for that. Because who were they? They were going to cast somebody else originally, right? Was it going to be Lance Hendrickson who was going to be Terminator uh, instead of the it cop? Be? It wasn't a huge swole dude. I know that. No. But, like, they're going to cast somebody else, and he turned it down, and... Arnold took it instead, and then... I wonder if they had... I wonder if they had already made the, like, the famous robot skeleton Terminator thing. Like, I wonder if they'd already made that. Maybe. And they're looking at Lance Henderson just being like, nobody's going to believe that that thing is inside of that man. Whereas it looks like it would totally fit inside of Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know what I'm saying? Like, Maybe. because he's fucking huge... Well, yeah, but with visual trickery, you can make it look smaller. Visual trickery, you say? <laughs> oh, yeah, all that uh, fucking Lord of the Rings shit. They make, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, they make Gandalf look four feet taller than fucking Frodo. Um, yeah, so uh, along their adventure, uh, the, he, the, the cops are like, oh, fuck, there's a spree killer. He's killed two or three Sarah Connors, and they're just like right next to each other in the phone book. So he finally gets to our Sarah Connor, the one that we're watching, and uh, Kyle Reese intervenes and saves her skin and gives us the exposition. I'm from the future. That thing's a fucking robot. That's why I shot it with a shotgun and it just got back up. And meanwhile, she's just staring at him like, you're, you're crazy. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. They're doing a fucking high speed chase. And slowly yeah. she kind of comes to the realization that like. Why you can't kill this dude? Maybe, maybe maybe this guy's on some shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because that that dude should be dead. Should be super dead. He was shot by multiple shotgun shells. There's a bunch a, of shotgun stuff. There's a bit that that fucking I, I thought was a strange directorial choice when I when I was doing the rewatch. I haven't seen Terminator in several years. Like it's been a long time. Um, however. Uh, there's a strange like uh, directorial or editorial choice uh, during it where for a bit Arnold Schwarzenegger has no eyebrows, but instead of not having I eyebrows, they're that. like 
there's like a like a putty they put yeah, over his eyebrows. I, to, I was wondering about that. So they're making his brow bigger, or like why does he he had eyebrows and then he doesn't, and then later he does again? Were oh, they just going back and looking at the feed and be like, nah, I fucking hate that. We're not going to reshoot it, but put his, just leave him alone. He's fine. He, he lost his eyebrows and he found them again. Uh, he, yeah, right. <laughs> Reinstalled them. Just lost the drivers temporarily. Had to update the drivers. Okay, that's good. That's a good little computer joke. Nate gets it, you guys. I he do. likes computers. I like computers. Well, yeah, I, th- I like them enough to hate them. Yeah, same, but not machines. Right, not machines. Oh, God, no. no. Fuck no, would never do a Skynet. Uh, yeah, the series though, the Netflix series or whatever, this isn't a spoiler. Okay. There's just another like fucking tech mogul, genius billionaire philanthropist or whatever, and he's like, all right, I know they're getting ready to put Skynet online, so he makes like a rival AI. Right. And is trying to like reason with it to get it to help humanity, uh, which is a pretty interesting angle to play. Um, yeah, so far, though, really enjoying the series. Mm. Uh, well, awesome. yeah. First it was Cyberdyne, and then it was the company that bought the rights to Cyberdyne, and then it was the company that bought the rights to use that it that software from the company that owned the rights to use Cyberdyne's <sighs> stuff. <laughs> That's my favorite. I like I love it when just a big company buys another big company. Fuck. <laughs> I love it, dude, so much. It's the only thing I can think about really. <laughs> just I can't wait till everything's one big company, you know? <laughs> And we can all work there, everybody. <laughs> We're getting pretty close to that point. I uh, fucking, uh, uh, I'm, I'm not conspiracy theory, none uh, about it or whatever, but somebody's going to have to step in somewhere and go, hey, that's enough. Stop it. You have enough, you, you have, en- you have enough company. Stop, you're, you're stop done. doing I that. I think you're done. That's like, uh, when, like Adam West got banned from the state of Colorado <laughs> for 15 years. Did you know that? For I just, did not. For just banging dudes' wives. What? Yeah, yeah. It might have been a specific city. Like, it might have been Denver or something like that. Well, I know that Guns N' Roses were banned from St. Louis. The city was like, hey, you cannot come back here for 15 (laughs) years because you just fucked too many of our ladies. That's not cool, man. Uh, Yeah, wild, though. Adam (laughs) Adam West is a weird dude. Anyway, so they fucking, they get away. He gets the exposition. We're all like, okay, we're on board now. And they're on the lam from this fucking Terminator. And then uh, there's a bit where they, they get arrested, the cops intervene, or she goes to a police station, I think. The cops end up – okay, so what happened was was that um, uh, the Terminator takes a vehicle, tries to run into them, and then uh, they were able to kind of dodge out of the way, and the vehicle with the Terminator ran headfirst into the building. She grabbed the um, shift, the column shifter from the vehicle and – chucked it into park mm. and it just shattered the transmission that's nice. what it was and they couldn't drive away and they're surrounded by cops Hell somehow yeah. the terminator disappeared yeah 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 and then she's um she they get her back to the police station yeah and they get respect to the police station and they're like okay we're gonna interview you because you're fucking crazy lady we're sorry that you've been dragged around the city by this fucking maniac uh you know we'll we'll interview him or whatever and they mm-hmm. get the fucking psychologist in there uh, played by uh, Earl Bowen, plays the psychiatrist guy. I, he's great. Yeah. Just when he pops up in shit, I, he's a fun character actor. Um, but uh, he pops in, he's interviewing him, and he's like, this guy's fucking crazy, but like his his delusion is brilliant because it requires no physical proof. He's like, I yeah. can't tell him he's wrong, and he's sticking to the story, but it's impossible. You know, right, it's yeah. clearly this guy's a nut job. Uh, he, he's funny, though, man, like, it's just as a thought experiment. If somebody told you they were from the future, how do you go about refuting that? I wouldn't even bother with doing that. <laughs> you just believe That's, them? I wouldn't believe them, but I wouldn't refute it. Yeah? That is beyond my pay grade. <laughs> that does sound like a lot of fucking homework. I don't. I to have do. had to deal with some of those types All of situations. Right, let's go to the fucking police station. Yeah. Where are we going, police? Station? We got to get your fingerprints, bro. If you're gonna fucking play this game, you know you've been somewhere and touched shit before. I know you. <laughs> <laughs> I've had some very interesting uh, customers at my place of work. I bet. I bet so. I bet so. So uh, I, I've learned very quickly. Don't 
don't no just just yeah. let them say their thing and... we work in we work in different facets but technically we're both in like it or tech yeah pretty um much. and uh yeah yeah i can i can say the same um i i <laughs> I, I think for for what i do normally most of the people i encounter are pretty pretty average pretty normal mm. that's it's some it's some of the people that i sometimes occasionally work with i'm like well you're fucking wild ain't you like <laughs> yeah Right. Yeah. Anyway, you know, takes all kinds, I guess, to right. fucking throw it together. But some weird, weird dudes I work with, you know. <laughs> um, anywho, so uh, we're, okay, so they're at the police station. Everything's gonna be fine. Lance Hendrickson's like, yeah, I used to know a guy on LSD, you know, and it was crazy. And they fucking all the stuff with the two cops, like the main detective, uh, played by. Let me pull his shit up here real quick. Why is he not like top build here? That's fucking crazy. Uh, Paul Winfield and uh, the other one played by uh, Lance Hendrickson. Uh, Paul Winfield and Lance Hendrickson, I, you just you get the vibe that they're good buddies. You know what I mean? That they, they're quite convincing. Yeah, no. Uh, the yeah, those two characters are very convincing. It's funny. I, I actually did want. I didn't see this originally, but I, I do want to point this out. Uh, fucking Dick Miller, the pawn shop clerk. <laughs> Dude, he turns up in so many movies we cover on the podcast, like so many of them. He's in Chopping Mall, shit. The guy's fucking awesome. Uh, yeah, just I, always, I thought I recognized him. Yeah, he's a fucking hoot. And he's like, all right, I might close up shop early today when he's in there getting the fucking guns and shit. Just a uh, mountain of firearms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, which one do you want? Oh, I want all the firearms. Oh, the plasma rifle. <laughs> right, just <laughs> shoots the fucking guy. <laughs> yeah, asking for a plasma rifle. He's like, okay, guy with the funny stuff. Uh, just fun banter, man, in the whole thing. Um, so they, they fucking, uh, she's like, Kyle Reese is like, let me out of here. He's coming. You can't stop him. And then, sure enough, there he comes. And, and uh, they can't stop him. Well, I can't stop him now. Uh, well, he comes and they can stop him because they're like, Sorry, pal. Scram. She's in a. She's giving a statement, and he throws out the fucking "I'll be back," uh, and then he leaves. Yeah. And then he does come back, and they yeah. can't stop him with a car. No, right. Yeah. So he they threw fu- a car at them. <laughs> right. <laughs> but they fucking break out. The chase ensues. Uh, I mean, you know, you can you can imagine kind of what happens with the last leg of the film. It is effectively that they do finally defeat the Terminator. Uh, which does it cost Kyle Reese his life? I think it does. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yep. And, um, she, she, and then, Ooh, Linda Hamilton. Oh, she's pregnant at the end. Yes. And she's in Mexico. Yes. And she's getting fucking railroaded for a photograph. $4. $4 for a photo. Four well, it was fucking... originally $5, but she haggled them down to four. In 1984 for one <laughs> Polaroid? Yeah, you your goddamn mind. Oh, clearly they didn't go. Hey, let's drive down to Mexico and see how much a, a small boy would charge for a photograph. You know what <laughs> I mean? A Polaroid? Yeah. Because he even said American. $5 American. Or my dad but, will. Yeah, $5 my, American. Or my dad will beat me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the crazier thing is she's like, I'll give you four. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> In 1984? What do you, you, you worked at a diner. Where do you even yeah. have money? I don't know. Weird stuff about it. Uh, but you know, they fucking get away. She's recording little messages for, for young John Connor who isn't born yet. Yeah. Um, so that's it. That's why Kyle Reese, uh, offered to come back because in the future, his son, John Connor is his friend. Who's like also his age, I guess. And his dad. Did he know that he was his dad? I don't know. I, I imagine and that goes. That question goes for both John and Kyle. <laughs> I imagine he eventually came to that conclusion. Oh, but yeah, good job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my God! What if I'm John's dad? <laughs> 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 that would have been a that would have been a Terminator Two joke that w- that would have worked. Um, <laughs> no, nah, just that's probably a little too, little, a little too ornery for the late eighties, early nineties. Um, so, do you have a favorite part of this? I think my for me, it's the practical puppet effect of the Terminator, yeah. like the the reveal, the full skeletal reveal. Fuck me, it looks awesome. Yeah. The scenes that I like are of um, Arnold Schwarzenegger with the uh, various parts of the uh, of the uh, 
would it be an endoskeleton? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, of, yeah, of the yeah. endoskeleton being partially exposed. Oh, like where he's working on yeah, his arm. Yeah, where he's working on his arm. He's yeah, that's the first. The, yeah, like you, you hear Reese say, "Oh, he's a he's a machine," but you think he's fucking crazy. You yeah, know, or he certainly could be. You don't know at that point during the movie, but then right. that's the actual at that reveal. Point, yeah, like, fuck, he is a robot. Fuck, where he he's got that knife and he's taking out that one eye. That's, oh yeah, oh. and then you get that fucking horrible, <laughs> just that horrible looking rubber. <laughs> okay, face. I don't know. To be I, fair, on a nineteen eighties television, would you be able to tell? No. No, fuck no. You'd be like, oh my god, it looks so real. Right. But now where everything's on fucking HD yeah. and remastered and shit. And you're like, oh, it's silicone. Yeah. <laughs> That's just silicone. <laughs> That's animal. just a rubber face. It's like even kind of like when it moves a little bit, it just, it's, it's, just got, like it's j- got that jitter. jiggle. Yeah. yeah, it's got a little jiggle to it. <laughs> uh, pretty fucking crazy looking. Um, but yeah, I mean, the fucking, so there there, there have got to be two models of the, the actual endoskeleton, mm-hmm. uh, the skeletal terminator. Um, cause, is the is one like a regular like life sized puppet, and the other one the stop motion animation model? So I'm, this, I'm making my fingers very. I, I'm sure a stop motion that, model is still probably the stop motion model is probably like yeah about table size. Yeah, um, the size of a fucking table. Ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. Table. No, like to mess around with on that st- those stop motion tables. Oh yeah, whatever, yeah. whatever those things are called. Um, that's what I call them. Yeah, stop motion t- t- tables. That's it's table what, sized. That's what it's for. You wouldn't eat at that table because no. it's specifically for that's stop motion. That's the stop motion table. No. Um, I, I, if I if I remember correctly, that face is literally just a face. It's not attached to anything except for the rigging for the facial muscles, of which fa- did not move at all. The fa- oh, you're talking about the, the yeah. I'm just the, talking about the head, the head, the skull. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Uh, face threw me off. I thought you were still talking about the rubbery silicone one. That I believe is the <clears> same <throat> situation, where it was just just the suspended by uh, wires or what? I fucking uh, yeah. That wouldn't shock me. Uh, it just boy, the hair plugs are super noticeable. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and the weird wiggle of it. Uh, it's just very obviously not a man. Yeah. <laughs> which is jarring. Only because with none of that other practical effect in the film, uh, the goddamn everybody that's in it is so good. Yeah. Like the the fucking Michael Bean, old Bean, the Bean Machine. The Bean, Bean Man. Yeah, Bean Man. <laughs> Bean Man. <laughs> uh, Bushes himself. You talk about a little baked bean. Uh, and Linda Hamilton. They're just fucking, uh, the, I, I buy them as like strangers that, Everything about their situation kind of drives to me. Yeah. Um, and then Arnold Schwarzenegger is just, he's terrifying. Yeah. You you don't know what his deal is. You just know he's just a merciless fucking serial murderer when the film starts, which yeah. is cool. Uh, it's not cool for full disclosure. Like, I don't <laughs> it is not cool to be a serial killer. I don't see that shit and go, oh, dude, that guy must be fucking cool. I... No. <laughs> <laughs> not the case. Um but yeah, it's just fucking terrifying. Um, let's see here. Did you have any other? Is there, is there like a favorite? Oh, you were talking about your favorite part was like the the reveal of the fucking hand yeah. thing and shit. Something I really like about this movie is it's not afraid to kill characters. No, like yeah. you'll just see all the all this all well, this it's, background banter of these two detective fellas, and they just die. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty. They really don't want to kill uh, Linda Hamilton. <laughs> well, okay for. She's got plot armor, though. She does have plot armor. That's true. Like she's important to the continuance of that story, right? It actually all hinges on her being alive. Yeah, because if she dies, then that would be really funny. Actually, there's not a movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> now we have to find another savior of fucking humanity. <laughs> Again, god damn it! Uh... <laughs> all right, Nate. I'm not sure how much longer I can talk about. The movie The Terminator from 1984 that every living person has seen except for maybe my <laughs> kid. Um, I got I did, a, I've got I, a coworker who probably hasn't seen it. I uh, I was like, hey, you want to watch this movie? I was like, I rented it. We got it for 24 hours. And she's like, nah, I'm all right. <laughs> so, <laughs> you're fucking missing out. Uh, it's a goodie. Um, 
I don't know how many how many uh, robot Terminator thumbs do you give it out of out of ten, Nate. Um, I give it a good. You know what? I'm gonna give it a five. Five out it of was, ten. It was. I would actually rate two higher, so I would, I would say four four and a half thumbs. Four and a half yeah, thumbs. I actually do like two a little bit better than one. Yeah, I I get it. I I love two. Yeah. Totally different reasons though. Um. But uh, <laughs> two's a fucking hoot, man. He puts on a stupid glasses. It's <laughs> dumb, man. I love it. Uh, so good. Yeah, yeah. It, that's what I mean. It's just it's so parts of it are so fucking dumb. They're like they're like oh, it's a maybe it's a comedy now, <laughs> which is a <laughs> weird thing for this horrific future for mankind. Um, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go eight. I, eight. I think this holds up incredibly well. I think we're looking at different scale levels because that was out of five. I'm guessing yours is eight out of five. No, is it how many? How many Terminator thumbs out of ten? Out of ten, okay. Four? <laughs> no, I'd say Just nine. Even lower. <laughs> no, uh, nine. Okay, nice. Yeah, yeah I, I I like it. I there, like there's it. a couple little things here and there, but that's entirely because of how old the movie is and the age of it. <laughs> yeah. I, it. Other than that, it's fantastic. Yeah, there's a couple of things I can knock it for, and some of it is just the use of weird practical mm-hmm. effects that I think is unnecessary, like his fucking lack of eyebrows <laughs> in those like five scenes. He it's lost super them. Fucking weird. He didn't know where they went. Oh, they're, oh <laughs> forgot I put him in this leather jacket pocket. <laughs> uh, it's just fucking weird, man. Just leave his fucking eyebrows. Put a, put a fucking fake cut on mm-hmm. on his shit i don't know i don't i'm it's not my movie it's like that reminds me of the scene from uh man of steel where they digitally removed uh, his fucking mustache, his mustache. Fucking mustache game. <laughs> i think that's injustice is that justice league or is it I man don't. of steel it was man of steel yeah. it was the very it was that end scene um where he, like they're trying where he grabbed a satellite and crashed it and the military are like, hey, you, why are you crashing our satellites? And he's like, you guys are trying to find out where I'm from, where, where my home yeah, is. Yeah, because no. I don't have, look at this mustache I yeah. don't have because I'm filming that Mission Impossible movie where I do that. <laughs> I would have loved punch, to see. The punch thing. I would have loved to see a Superman with a mustache. Bro, did you see that Mission Impossible movie? It was wild. Henry Cavill's fucking mustache? His mustache was wild. Bro, it looked fucking badass. <laughs> I wish I could pull off a fucking mustache. I look creepy as hell if I lose the beard, dude. It does not work for me. <laughs> I'll wear I'll put I'll put one on once every other year and just look at myself in the yeah. mirror for like a day and be like, oh. yeah. <laughs> there is a reason why I shave. <laughs> yeah, I, I look like I sell watches out of my car. You know what I mean? <laughs> like just look like a scumbag. I made the mistake of showing my coworkers my uh, old driver's li- my current driver's license photo. Um, I now am known as the drug dealer at work. Nice, nice. I could see that. You get kind of a Jesus vibe. A Jesus vibe. If you could, if you could pull off an actual beard. Oh, I like, can't. No, you'd that's be, a problem. You'd be white people's favorite Jesus. You'd be the white Jesus, like the one they'd be like, "Oh my god, <laughs> he's back." <laughs> there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking got him. Uh, <laughs> so uh, let's see here. Uh, all right, we rated it. I mean, there's nothing else I would do about it. So now we're gonna go watch something that, that's shittier and older. Uh, <laughs> we're good. We're going to watch Arnold Schwarzenegger's very first movie, Hercules, Hercules in New York. In New York. Maybe he's going to get a slice. Have a hot dog. Uh, it's called the hot dog? I don't What Do you think he'll have pizza or a hot dog? I don't, I don't know. know. Uh, we'll be right back. Here's a word from our sponsor, just the one still. Also, real ad, though, so visit their website. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, fuck. I missed it. Fuck. <laughs> Real late night. <laughs> maybe like 3 a.m. Could use a little something else, maybe something kind of sweet. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I can't cut this, so we got like it's a one and done situation. Ooh. Let me just whip out my phone here and go to 3 a.m. sweets.com. Oh, God. But then the wind blew in. I entered a code. Come joke. <laughs> Ooh, twenty five percent off. This is a real ad. 
We send some business to 3amsweets.com. Hell yeah. Mm. Ooh. That's it. We're going to get up in it, boy. What would you find out? <laughs> Hercules in New York. We watched it. Uh, what is it? <laughs> Where did it come from? I <laughs> uh, believe the release was 1970, uh, but this says G-rated 1969 it comedy. It did seem like a late 60s film. Yeah. Uh, comedy adventure. Uh, one hour, 32 minute runtime. Uh, we watched it on Tubi. It's only a couple ads. I like Tubi a lot. for mm-hmm. It's like a free streaming service that does have ads. I think they're... It's like a tasteful amount, usually. Yeah. Uh, it's got a 3.3 <laughs> out of 10 on IMDb and a 14% on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, 53% of Google users like this movie. Release date, February 25th, 1970. Boom. Uh, directed by Arthur Allen Seidelman. A budget of 300000 US dollars. That seems liberal. Uh, distributed by Trimark Pictures. Music by John Balamos. But Balamos... Um, either way, pack it in, John. Not a big fan. It's Bean all um, over again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bean all over again. Uh, this stars, fuck, so many people. Um, Arnold, <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger, Deborah Loomis, Arnold Stang, Ernest Graves, Tia Elg, uh, Merwin Goldsmith, uh, George Bartoneff, James Karen, and Tanny McDonald, just to name a few. Um, Who's the guy the- that looks like... Who was it? The what? the guy that looked like Dan Schneider. I, fi- I couldn't find him. Really? I couldn't find <laughs> him in here. Just some yeah. unnamed actor. Just an extra. Well, he's in it for like two seconds. But yeah, you're right. There's a bit where Hercules is on a boat <laughs> fighting a bunch of dudes for no reason. Don't worry about it. it happens a lot. Um, <laughs> it, <laughs> at any point during the movie... This is where you could pause it. Somebody could walk in. You could press play, and they go, "What the fuck is happening?" And you go, "I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You don't know. I don't know." We're watching the same thing. Only I watched the first forty minutes of it. I still don't know. Um, yeah, but there's a guy that looked just like fucking Dan Schneider from that fucking Nickelodeon documentary. God. Yeah, um, <laughs> looks exactly like him. Yeah, yeah. Well, fucking Dan Schneider, man. I, I don't. From watching the thing, they kind of, they try to paint it like he was a, a pervert, but I don't think he was. I, inappropriate at work? Absolutely. Inappropriate at work, absolutely. Horrible boss? 100%. 100%. Egomaniac? Absolutely. A lot of those uh, accusations have been known about for a long time. Yeah, but there was the, the other dude that was actually like, yeah, that's no bueno. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I can't remember his name. I don't know why that is, but boy, they they they... They ramp the whole thing up with Dan Schneider, and then they and then they and then, toss that. At then the they end, toss that like, at the very what? very end. I don't know, man. I just like I feel bad for Dan Schneider. Kind of the way that that played out because I watched that show and I was like, wow, this is very like interesting and sad and you know uh, interesting though. And uh, when we were done watching it, I was like, man, they've really fucked that guy, <laughs> raked that dude over the fucking coals. I mean, yeah, he's bad, but f- then at the very end, you're like, also this other guy sexually abused some kids. Ugh. Yeah. And you're yeah. like, what was his oh, name again? I don't remember. <laughs> I remember Dan Schneider. That was seven episodes straight. <laughs> anyway, um, I suppose I probably am diverting because there's not a whole. There is a whole there's lot. There's a whole actually. lot yeah. that happens, but like, <laughs> how do you? How do we? How do we properly? Here's, here's how we do it. Yeah. Okay. Without spoiling it, Nate. <sighs> what, what is this movie about? <laughs> You can't look at Google. <laughs> That's the rule. No Wikipedia. All right. So Hercules, uh, he uh, he angered his father, and now he's in New York. And he does a bunch of New York things. And he's in New York. He continues to be in New York until, and until eventually he isn't. Yep. I... <laughs> That's, it's pretty fucking solid, actually. So, like... <laughs> He goes to fucking he goes to fucking New York and what okay, so 
the Go continent for, known as first, North America and the city mm-hmm. known – what was it that goes by New York? I don't know. I don't fucking know. But there's a bit where he's like <sighs> – when the movie opens up, it's Zeus and Hercules mid-argument, which yes. also – questionable way to start the movie, I guess. Because oh. he's like, I want to go. And he's like, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> kind of. And then he's like, ah, y- you want to go to Earth? I'll show you. And then he hits him with a lightning bolt and sends him to Earth. Like like it's supposed to be a, a punishment. I, I fucking ah. don't understand any of the motivations for anything in this, much like most of Greek and Roman mythology. <laughs> they just... <laughs> Don't make a hell of a lot of sense. No. Why did Zeus? Uh, wh- why? Why? Why did he take the form of a, a white bull in the ocean to bang a woman? Uh-huh. I don't know. What? Kind of prove that he can. I did guess. Did he just know that she was already into that? That's a pretty niche. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> very specific. <laughs> you know what I mean? She this bitch. She loves a wet ocean bull. <laughs> and he just comes <laughs> trotting out of the ocean. She's like, oh my goodness. That's exactly what I've been dreaming of. Uh, right. And then after, after, post-coital, he turns back into Zeus and he's like, fuck you. Gotcha. I, was a, I, was I gotcha. A, <laughs> I got you. I just, it's a regular penis. Sorry. <laughs> what? Uh, you weird dude, old fucking Zeus, man. Um, just sticking his dick in anything that moves that guy. Um, I kind of feel bad so, for his wife. But... R- well, why would like, you? Why would you stay married to Zeus? I guess he's super well, abusive. He's Zeus, she probably though, can't. To leave. be fair, yeah, to be fair. But aren't they also like siblings? Bro, Greek, Greek mythology is weird. Yeah, I mean, like Zeus was the first god. Technically, they're all his siblings, kind, kind or, of, or cousins, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I bet Apollo's got webbed feet. <laughs> Just a fucking merman. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and I know, I know, I know what you're thinking, and I know that that's Poseidon, but that's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> so anyway, let's get into this weird fucking hodgepodge of stuff. <laughs> um, first thing, first note, uh, just, I, I don't know if they're still taking notes for, for the film Hercules. Get, get your notebook out. Hercules in New York, but yeah, get your, uh, uh, call for your scribe. Um, pick a lane with the mythology. I don't even care yeah, which one. Nah. Don't even give so a shit. So we've got Zeus, Hercules. We've also got um, Pluto. Yep. Uh, we've got Nemesis. What? Who? Who? who Mercury? What? I don't who, know. Who's? Who's? Ne- well, pretty Mer- sure. Pretty sure Nemesis was an image comic from the late nineties. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know. Um, I I don't. I'm not fam- I was used to be very 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 well ber- versed in my Greek and Roman mythology. The Odyssey is one of my favorite stories. Uh, but I don't, I don't ever remember a nemesis character. I feel like that was a character constructed for this film. Yeah. I feel like they constructed a lot of shit for this film. <laughs> like Zeus's weird Amish neck beard. That's <laughs> oddly specific. Um, let me, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna find out right here. <laughs> that beard said things. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. It knows what train we're on. I wrote Nemesis in, and it bit auto-filled in Greek mythology. Uh, Nemesis was the goddess of vengeance and retribution who punished evil and oh. rewarded noble acts. So, God. Uh, she was also the embodiment of the gods' anger, jealousy, and envy, and was believed to punish human gluttony. Oh, no. Uh, well, she's taking the day off, because... Uh, some things about now. Okay, I'm not going to read more of that, but uh, okay, that's a real character that I guess they just skipped in school, or huh. if we ever touched on it, it, it wasn't very much. Yeah, she's got a sword and scales, so she's, she's Lady Justice, but she's not wearing a blindfold. Does she's, Lady Justice have a sword? I know she has scales. What does she have a book? She's got a book. She's got a book, scales, and she's also blindfolded. Fucking nerd. <laughs> blind nerd. <laughs> Sorry for all my blind listeners out there. Well, she's You're willingly wh- blindfolded. Oh, yeah. And also has a book. Hell yeah. Fucking nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Nevis is way fucking cooler. She's, she's got, got a sword. She's got a sword and armor. It looks like she's wearing kind of an armor uh-huh. situation here. Uh Look at that. Here we go. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, and then here's Lady Justice below her with a book like a fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right. Anywho, um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't care which one they do. Just, just pick a lane. Um, I, Greek or Roman, I, whichever one you prefer. But because Zeus is Jupiter in Roman mythology, right? Yes. And then, um, <clears throat> Pluto is Hades yes. in Greek mythology. So they're just they're mixing and matching all of them for whatever they think plays better. Um, I like it. They send Hercules. Her, I can't do his pronounce Hercules. I can't do it. He said it's very distinct when he does it. No man can match Hercules. No, I fucking don't know. He's got a weird fucking wang on it though. Like for a second, I thought they were trying to go for Heracles, like a weird mix of Heracles and Hercules, which are both the same character. Uh, yeah, but like, I think it's just his accent. I, it could be. Yeah, because everybody, I hate a Herc. Uh, okay, we got. Let's talk about this fucking dweeb. Um, I'm throwing a lot of shade. I don't necessarily mean it. I actually thought this guy was relatively charming. Uh, there we go. Okay, Hercules in New York. I'm talking about Arnold Strong. So Arnold Ar- Strong. Yep. No, Arnold Stang. Excuse me. <laughs> Arnold Stang. Wait, yeah. what? Yeah, Arnold Stang. That's his name. Arnold Stang. There's my huh. oh jeez <laughs> oh what are you doing? So there's an Arnold Stang and an Arnold Strong. Arnold Stang and Arnold Strong. What else is this fucking dude in? Sure, this guy's got to be in some. Oh, he's in Herman and Catnip. <laughs> <laughs> Herman the Mouse. That's where I fucking know his voice from. He's a fucking cartoon mouse. You remember this? This dude, you're into old oh, retro shit. Oh yeah. Wow, that's fucking crazy. Oh yeah. Oh, and he's he's in Top Cat. He plays the blue cat whose name I don't fucking remember. Really? Yeah. And he's in Pinocchio in Outer Space. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that old cult classic, <laughs> Pinocchio in Outer Space? Yeah. This guy just did a fuck ton of voice work. He's not even in very many movies. Man, he was just cast he, as a mouse did. like a million fucking times. He did the best he could in this film. I think so. Uh, hold on. Is he fucking Courage the Cowardly Dog? Wait, no, wait, what? 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 Hold on, wait, hold on. No, hold you on, have to on. verify this before hold I get on. too freaked out. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Let's see here. Uh, no, it's a different guy. Okay, that's, <laughs> okay. Okay. that's Marty Grabstein, <laughs> who looks remarkably like Kevin James. He does. Wow, yeah, podcasting, ladies and gentlemen. Bringing people together, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, so so fucking he gets in New York, and he meets this guy Pretzi. Pretzi. Yeah, played by he Arnold goes by Str- Pretzi because Arnold he sells. Stang. <laughs> yeah, he goes by Pretzi because he yeah. sells pretzels. Well, that's not my name, Hark, but uh, you know they call me Pretzi because yeah, I sell I sell pretzels. What was the-, the point of that dialogue? <laughs> I don't know. And like later, you're at you, you like never go to his apartment or yeah, house no. until like the very until the fucking very end. end of the movie, yeah. and he's like. I don't know. It's like a, a small, pl- like how, what's, what, where's he get the, pre- he, how's he, me, is he just make these pretzels like eight at a time in his I oven? Know. I don't know. Fucking who knows what this guy's he up to. He sells he's them. A, he's a fucking. He's got a basket full of them. He's a lunatic is what he is. <laughs> uh, but man, he has got a, a, just a voice and a look about him that is unmistakable, I guess. Um, I, I actually found him to be like, treading on annoying but more on the side of like ah oh, this guy this this little knock around yeah. fella you know yeah boy could you think just a, a half pint like me and hark were hanging out oh gee so can you just imagine <laughs> like that it's yeah just, it's that i can definitely see the roots of his uh voice acting work yeah very cool um i liked him but then they pal up and it's almost like just like a buddy comedy yeah but he's yeah. like, I am Hercules. I have, I don't have money. And he's like, well, that's about the craziest thing I ever heard, Hike. I'm Hercules. I don't have money. Yeah, and they just all they're like living in a fancy hotel together. <laughs> he has money now, and he has a tailored suit. Dude, the passage of time is fuck all in this. I can <laughs> I could not tell you if this takes place over the course of four days or four years. Like if I can, no, no. There's no way to tell. There's no way to tell. His- impossible to tell like he has a, he he gets a professional wrestling career in the yeah 
And it shows a montage of him re- winning awards and whatnot. I'm getting a bunch of money. Yeah. I, <laughs> what, how long did this take? I fucking don't know, man. This is like old fucking Pretzi. This is his <laughs> the best years of his life, you know? <laughs> oh, man, I remember hanging out with Hark from 1966 to 1971 or whatever. <laughs> like, fucking, I don't know. You can't really tell. It seems like it's maybe a day or two, but they just... Boy, the random shit that happens in this is like nothing else. They'll just be like, yeah, I don't know. The movie's getting a bit stale. Now, what's up with Zeus? And they go to Zeus and he's like, I fucking fuck Hercules. He can stay down there, that bastard. <laughs> and then somebody will go, why won't you save him? And he'll go, you're right. I do love Hercules. Maybe we should kill him. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, nemesis, come fucking send Hercules to hell for a year. And she's like, I, nobody knows how long that is in this universe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. See him tomorrow. Then it's just a crazy, like the fucking time scale blows my mind. But given the fact that it's a comedy, I assume for the sixties and the fact that it's PG, that this probably plays to an audience like a, a 11 through 14 Maybe. Yeah. Like back when people would just see a car driving 35 miles an hour and go, holy shit. Holy jeepers. You know, shit. They wouldn't say shit. They'd say. Jeez Louise. Yeah. Christ on a bike. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that's you, Nate, on a bike. Can you you imagine? If only I could imagine myself (laughs) on a bike. (laughs) Ah. God, I'm fucking stupid. All right. <laughs> so they're they're palling around and they get fuck me. What even happens in this? I don't it, know. It's so bizarre to try <laughs> to like string together. And we just watched it. I just keep I every time I'm here, I just keep bringing garbage, and I'm just like, hey, check That's okay. out this amazing film. I'll be honest with you, not even remotely close to the worst thing that I've watched. <laughs> not even fucking on the radar. Uh, but, but it is, it's, it's weird. It's an hour and 32 and just feels, it just feels, it feels longer, but then also the, the weird passage of time makes it stranger <laughs> yeah. because you're like, so you're like, you'd be 20 minutes in you'd be like, has this been on for an hour and a half already? Because it feels like we're at the end. <laughs> Like, I'm not fatigued, but it just, no. it feels like it's over. Like, he's just yeah. going to be like, uh, here comes, uh, 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 here comes a guy in a monster suit and they're going to fight and then Hercules will go back or Zeus will be like, fuck it, you can stay on Earth. Things whatever. keep happening with no change to the story whatsoever. Right. Yeah. They're like, oh, well, let's send, let's send Mercury down there yeah. to try and get him to come home. And Mercury goes down there and he goes, you want to come home? And he goes, no, I'm not going home. And he goes, oh, fuck, okay, see you later. And he leaves and he goes back and he's like, Zeus, Hercules wouldn't come home. And he's like, I said I wanted him to go home. And then he sends somebody else. And I don't, like, yeah, there are a lot of things that happen that don't change anything. He fought a bear. He fought a fucking <laughs> a bear, yeah. A man in a bear suit. It was <laughs> very, very obvious that was a man in a bear suit. But it, it's funny. It is very obvious it's a man in a bear suit because when it's doing the bit where it's escaping from the zoo, you can see the back of it. And I'm like, oh, it's a gorilla because <laughs> it looks like they're doing the, yeah. you know, the knuckle walk or whatever. Uh, God, it's fucking silly as shit. Of course, he beats the shit out of the bear. Uh, the, Ernest. No, not Ernest Graves. What's the other fucking guy I'm looking for? Uh, James Karen. James Karen plays the professor, so like the girl's dad. Oh, for a second, I thought you were talking about James Cameron. I was like, what? <laughs> James Cameron. <laughs> That's actually the link between the episodes. It's not Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> it's that James Cameron was in this and then made the Terminator. <laughs> he was inspired by the character Nemesis, actually. <laughs> He went, fuck, what if Nemesis was a robot, but also that huge dude instead? Yeah. Mm, how about that? Yeah. Hey, Strong, what's your actual last name? Okay, let's go with that. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't pronounce it, but here we go. Right. Man, fucking weird, weird, weird fucking movie. Um, James Cameron was, is in a submarine right now, but James Karen, 
uh, who was in this movie, he plays the professor, is the only person in the entire film that I, if you were to ask me to point out who in here is a real professional actor, it would be him. And everybody else in this is just maybe just reading the lines. You know what yeah. I mean? With the, I would say with the uh, with the uh, Greek well Greek slash Roman slash whatever mythology characters, uh, they're they're probably have a lot of history with theater. Yeah, uh, I would say Ernest Graves too, the the guy that played Zeus. Like he was yeah. doing okay. I just I fucking hated his look. Like that that beard, <laughs> that beard that beard was that beard's fucking bad, that, bro. That beard had statements. <laughs> that beard, that hairpiece, the whole fucking outfit. The f- okay, let's t- <laughs> let's talk about Zeus for a second. <laughs> So his lightning bolts that he just carries around, <laughs> it's, just, it's just a fucking piece of rebar. <laughs> like, that's all. They took rebar and they bent it in the shape of, like, a lightning bolt that a child would draw. He painted it silver. Yeah, with the fucking, it's got the line on it and everything. Oh, my, or the, fu- like, the arrow so tip. so bad. Oh. Oh, yeah, dude, fucking insane. That. They were just like, yeah, there's a bit where he even has a basket of them. Somebody's uh, standing yeah, behind somebody's him. Like, holding, holding a bag like a, from a cornucopia yeah. of these fucking. A cornucopia of, of, of <laughs> rebar lightning bolts. Right, yeah. He picks them up and he fucking throws them. And you can tell they got a little heft to him the way that yeah. he's fucking handling <laughs> The way he's got to chuck them like it's a. Oh, my God. Yeah, dude, dude just fucking what? Dude, like. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't even try. I mean, you could have dipped that thing in plaster of Paris and nobody would have been able to tell. You, there are a million things you could do to just make that not look like a piece of rebar. Just a, just a piece of metal that, like, everybody uh, knows what that looks like. Well, not everybody. Obviously, there are some people out there that have never seen a piece of rebar and don't know what that is. Right. However, I would say. The mass major- the, the the mass majority of folks could look at that and go, isn't that that stuff they put in concrete? Now, yeah, it is a hundred percent. That's yeah. exactly what it is. <laughs> that's exactly what that is. That's a weird choice. Uh, we uh, agree. We okay. agree with you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's what we had. Right, right. Obviously, yeah. It's all they had. And they fucking. There's a weird. There's a weird strongman competition at the end. But they're like, oh, it's like a wrestling match. But then he goes out there, and it's not a wrestling well, match. They're just doing a oh. clean and jerk. Yeah, no, it was fun. I never realized. They I were, completely forgot because he was going to be his like his his wrestling promoter. He had yeah. a whole fucking wrestling career. They I did com- a montage. I completely forgot that it was supposed to be a wrestling match. Yeah, and they even have wrestling names. They're yeah, like Hercules the Great and Morgan the the Mushifier or whatever whatever the other guy's fucking it name was. was. Harold, uh, no, fucking, god damn it. All right, you're gonna make me see if I can find it real quick. All right, uh, I, mean, I wish you the best of luck. Monstro, the- Monstro, yeah, Mar- Monstro the Magnificent. Oh, maybe it probably wasn't magnificent because that makes him sound like he's a magician. <laughs> Well, he did manage well, to lift a thousand pounds. He was a magician, yeah. He, uh, he a thousand pound in quotation marks. Clean and jerked a fucking thousand pounds, but uh, really the fucking uh, clean jerk world record is like five hundred and sixty something pounds or some shit like that. So a little bit off kilter there, and um, also the the uh, the weights looked exactly the same. It was like the guy just tapped the bar and was like, "All right, now it's two hundred fifty pounds heavier." Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fucking announcer guy, he just like bends over and touches him, and he's like, "Oh boy, that's so heavy." Ooh, it's exactly the same as it was ten seconds ago. Uh, yeah, fucking weird. Oh man, they they build man with chariot. So the guy that that ran him down in the park and was like, oh, the oh. guy was, that was being chased by the man with the sauerkraut. Oh, right, there's just a dude with a hot dog. Okay, there's a dude with a hot dog. <laughs> that in, whole in a, scene is ridiculous. In like a Tarzan style leotard, chasing Arnold Schwarzenegger with no shirt on in a chariot through downtown New York, and behind that man, who's holding a hot dog, is another man running behind him. With a fork full of sauerkraut. <laughs> fork full of sauerkraut. And I like, would, don't forget your sauerkraut. I would say, if, if I had to guess conservatively, 
based on the scene, I would say that they both probably ran about 87 miles because you can't tell like this, this scene goes on forever, but there are other scenes where they're just, they walk from one store to another store and it's like three months later. So the fucking don't know. There's a bit where they're just like spontaneously like it's fall now. (laughs) Oh yeah. Wait. Okay. Back to the writing scene. Didn't they go from, they went from, they were in Times Square. They were in Times Square, and they ended up in Central Park, right? Well, yeah, after 45 minutes of fucking driving around, you can't tell who's chasing who. That's Right. That That's not next to each other. Are they not? I'll see her. How no. far? Curious. All of this new fucking uh, setup I got here, I can just easily uh, Google a thing without fucking my phone. <laughs> uh... Let's have a look. See here, Nate. Uh, it is six minutes away via Eighth Avenue. Huh. So it seems like they really took the scenic route. <laughs> <laughs> well, they had to make a couple laps. Uh, f- Central Park is not that big. <laughs> 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 make a couple sixteen, seventeen laps around Central Park. Uh, I, you know, I had no idea they were like within walking distance. Yeah, it's an eighth of a mile, or it's a point eight miles. Really? Via Eighth Avenue? Yeah. Hmm. Not fucking bad. Seems like a really nice place to get stabbed. I, I feel that's like cool. there's quite a few people that can tell you that probably is the case. Or I guess if you just walk around with a hot dog long enough, somebody will be like, hey, hey you sour crap. Yes, crap. <laughs> bam, bam. The end of that scene was hilarious. He just, <laughs> he just sets the sour crap right on his hot dog. Starts his walk back <laughs> to his fucking hot dog cart. Holy shit, man. Some of this stuff in this is actually, it's just, it's so bizarre. It actually is pretty funny. Um, the rest of the movie, boy, fucking, it just, it's so hard to follow. Um, <laughs> you can't understand the motivations are unknowable No, because people, everybody contradicts themselves so yeah. many times. Like when Hercules is like, I will come back. He's like, I never come back. And then he's like, I will come back, but not right now. And then at the end, he's like, I'll come back. You just say, you he just, he, he was just like. Zeus oh, on... right. I am a god. Uh, uh, get me out of here. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. He's just having a fun day with his friend at the top of the Empire State Building. And he's like, oh, fuck this nerd. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm done. I bails. give up. Yeah. And then uh, fucking at the end. So he goes back to, to Mount Olympus and he's telling Zeus about everything that happened. And he's like, hmm, I will think about this now. Leave me. And they they fuck off or whatever, and he's going to, like, he hangs up his little hat. I'm like, oh, he's going to go to Earth and, like, try to bang everybody because he's just a pervert. Uh, not in this, he's not, but, like, canonically. The Zeus character. Mythologically, he's yeah. a fucking a huge pervert uh, and an egomaniac. Yeah, that's, a, that's his jam. Yeah. Uh, but, and then he he goes to Earth, and then he's like he sees that old lady, and he's like, <laughs> wink. <laughs> no, I'm talking about Nate. Uh, yeah, so th- I, w- I wonder why they never made Zeus in New York. <laughs> Zeus in New York It'd just be boring as shit. <laughs> I did like I did like the guy that played Pluto. I think he was probably my favorite character in the whole in the whole thing. Uh, don't get me wrong, he was way over the top, but uh, I didn't mind it. Where's he at in here, Pluto? Played by Michael Lipton. Yep, the uh, the Indomitable. Oh uh, yes, yeah, yeah. Yes. Michael Lipton. He was great, man. I I really he did I a really good job. In this enjoyed film. him quite a bit. Yeah, uh, just sleazy, greasy, fucking scumbag looking fucking dude. You know. Yeah. Uh, they they paint him not really as Pluto, but kind of as the devil, which is a weird touch. That is interesting because. <laughs> The, the character of Hades in Greek mythology, and well, also Pluto, because they're both the same, but uh, he very much had the idea of, I do not want to have anything to do with Mount Olympus. I don't have to, I don't want to have anything to do with the mortal world. Leave me alone. Let yeah. me do my thing. But he is still a god. Like, right. Just like Zeus is a god. Yes. I mean, like they're born of the same cloth or process or what yeah. have you. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, he just wanted to fuck off and be left alone and and have some pets. Pretty much. Yeah. Uh, Not a bad guy. By all. Well, except for like, they kind of paint him as a bad guy in the Hercules, like Disney movie too, don't they? Jesus, I haven't seen that since I was like little. He was a bad guy in that film. 
voiced by James Woods. I really do like that movie. Yeah, I haven't seen it in a super long time. I bet it's I bet it's pretty fun though. It it is a fun movie. Yeah, the game is fun too. If you want to try and find a copy of that, <laughs> what's it on? Like fucking PlayStation su- One. That was like Super <laughs> Nintendo. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's so funny. Uh, I had, I had and beat, uh, the Lion King on Sega Genesis, which was notoriously not an easy game to get to the end of. Mm-hmm. Um, that, that is actually a really difficult game. Yeah. Right. I was, <laughs> dude, I was fucking, it took me years to finally beat it. It was like one day I was like, I was fucking stayed home or sick or winter vacation or whatever. I was like, you know what? I'm going to beat this fucking game. Uh, and then I did. And it was fucking awesome, and I freaked out, and I ran in the other room, and I told my parents, and they're like, "Oh, cool, oh, yeah, well, it's great, it's great, yeah, happy for you." <laughs> Just did not have share my level of enthusiasm <sighs> for conquests of reflex. You know what? Fucking, what else are you gonna do? Now just get conquests of acid reflux. Um, oh. Oh. <laughs> how many fucking if your thumbs were super muscular, <laughs> Nate? How many muscular thumbs would you give this out of 10? Oh, I, I don't know. 10 muscular thumbs for a bad movie. It did did it rate your level of how much fun you had with it. It was a really good fun film. I'd say eight. Had a lot of good laughs to it. A lot of like, what is going on here? Yeah. Uh, I think I'm go. Oh, shit. Um. Well, I think I'm going to go 7-5, but I will say if there was a director's, like, a a different cut of this. If we could find the original version, the oh, original yeah. theatrical release. You did show me the original. So, the, the original, like, VHS, like, the, theatrical the, slash the, VHS was 80 yard. Yes, because this was as, uh, this was early in the time that uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger was in the States. Mm-hmm. Um, his... English, English wasn't the greatest. Not great, yeah. So they ADR'd over him with somebody who did speak English as a primary language. Yeah. It is rough. <laughs> it is. It it's, is. Yeah. You let me experience. listen to it. You showed me a couple of seconds of it. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. holy fuck, man. <laughs> this is its own monstrosity. That would have been a 10. It's weird. <laughs> it's weird that they, even though they were going to fucking ADR it, that the, that the original audio is not terrible for 1969 it's not terrible no um and it didn't help that well i guess it does help that the uh remaster um did pretty well yeah yeah i could see that um (laughs) yeah yeah i think i'm gonna go seven five on it If, if there was a if there was another cut of this because you can just literally cut anything out of it mm-hmm. um, the only reason I say this is because I'm making a podcast where I'm a little pressed for time uh, but it, otherwise that's a non-factor uh, but in a perfect world for me this has been about 10 minutes <clears throat> 10 minutes shorter yeah you could cut 10 minutes out of it it wouldn't have changed the viewing experience oh, no I it... still I still wouldn't know what the fuck was going on <laughs> so it doesn't really matter you know what I mean what scene would you remove in particular? <sighs> Probably when him and the the girl are walking around for like twelve minutes, probably. Just, <laughs> which which one are you talk about? Uh, yeah, it's uh, twelve minutes of that. <laughs> just make it thirty seconds. That's all I need. Oh, there are a couple now. I got yeah, it. Yeah. Okay. Check done. Oh, I love him, even though he is crazy. And then they share a smooch or hold hands. Done. That wait. That's another loose end. Is like what? What was the last scene you saw them together? When they uh. When they're doing that big punch up, and then uh, Samson and fucking Atlas show up, <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, yeah, just uh, that's what I'm saying. The weirdest <laughs> shit. The weirdest shit. When Pluto shows up, like all the power in New York goes out. For because why? Because he he doesn't like lights. It's like a he it's like a fu- sound effect from like a like the Dragon's Lair game. I can't. Yeah, do it. there's just, like there's all phase. the lights go out. It's just yeah, ridiculous. if you sped it up, it's probably the sound of the phaser from Star Trek. Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. You know those guns you get at the dollar store, and they go. Oh uh, yeah. Could it just, be. It sounds like a sound from that. They gun. could have gotten it from the same sound library. Could have been. You will never know, and I won't Google it because <laughs> I don't fucking care. You have the setup now. Uh, pretty fun though. Pretty fun. Didn't hate this. Uh, next segment of the show, Nate. Oh fuck. 
Fuck. <laughs> Fuck, Nate, what are you watching? <laughs> Hey, what you watching? Uh, what am I watching? Um, uh, there's a new season of uh, Umbrella Academy. I haven't watched it yet. I want to. It's, it's good. It's on my list. Okay, yeah, cool. I'm, I'm having fun with it. Um, Nick Offerman's in it. Oh, okay. Nice. Nice. I do I, like Nick Offerman. He, he's really funny. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. Um, How far are you in? Only a couple episodes. That's oh, the thing. I'm okay. already enjoying it. Okay. Um, well, I have to recap the last episode of the previous season. I remember like the world. They do a bit the... of that. Oh, they give you a little recap. They give you a little. Okay. Little, little bit of a recap. Like, I, I remember what was happening, but I don't remember how it resolved or if it did. Uh it it did resolve. Okay. I'm not going to give any spoilers though. That's fine. Yeah. I'm watching that. Um, I've actually been trying to find time to play a couple games that have been s- sitting around my computer. Uh, you remember Destroy All Humans? Destroy All Humans? Yeah, yeah. I've got the uh, remastered second one that I'm pretty close to finishing. Oh, nice, nice. I know fun. you love it. You love a retro game. Yeah. Big retro gamer. Oh yeah. Yeah. Are there any Are there any new games that scratch your retro game itch? I guess. Ooh. I mean, there's probably a fair amount of indies out there that really appeal to you. I mean, there's always a good indie game out. Um, I always like to recommend Kingsway, but um, Warner Brothers took down all the uh, Adult Swim games. Uh, so, yeah. Well, that's a bummer. Kind of kind of can't really tell people to play that because, well, how do you get it? Uh, uh, yeah, it's like, I don't know. Find it on <laughs> Napster, probably. <laughs> <laughs> LimeWire. There you go. There's a blast from the past. It was like a reference that destroyed oh. everyone's childhood. <laughs> um, yeah, fucking, uh, yeah, well, man, I played a retro game not that awful long ago, and I was like, you know what? I bet Nate would enjoy this. Um, fuck, man. It had a pretty fun mechanic, too. Like, it was like a turn-based RPG, but you selected the moves, and you had to, like, hit button combos during the moves, like kind of like uh, Final Fantasy, uh, mm. Final Fantasy three style um, on the handheld, you know, where, it, like, if you completed the button mashes properly, you, it powered up your attack more than it normally would. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was a fun mechanic though. Uh, they were there were uh, interesting environmental puzzles. Fuck, I can't remember what it was called though. If I saw the poster, I'd know it. Uh, you know what? Let me try to find it. Anything else you've been playing while I fuck while I try to find that? I'm thinking about picking up. Uh... What was it like? Half minute hero or thirty second hero or something like that? Oh, it was like a roguelite. Yeah, kind. Yeah, you, you've got thirty seconds to save the world. It's a very very short game, but um, through the game you have opportunities to reset the timer. But each time it gets more more expensive. It's each each time you play it is like a couple minutes, Damn. but it's it's nice. It is a very fun game. And there's all kinds of different mechanics, all kinds of different like levels of maps and whatnot. Yeah, I, yeah, I I had the uh, demo of it on my uh, PlayStation Portable. Oh, that sounds and, cool. Uh, I I'd like to get a copy of that at some point, like an actual full release of it. Oh 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 oh! Found it. Uh, sea of Stars. Sea of Stars. Yeah, let me see if I can find the. There's the actual poster for it you know that looks familiar oh man pretty good pretty good um i played it for a hell of a lot longer than i thought i was going to (laughs) Um, signs of a good game yeah yeah it was pretty i mean it's a little cheesy you know what i mean but you know some of the retro games are supposed to be here's like just a little screenshot yeah from the actual gameplay pretty fun though um i really like the mechanics i thought that was fun um what have i been playing man i haven't played shit I have not played a fucking thing. I have been so busy. I, I, same here. Oh, man. <laughs> same um, here. We are, we are coming off of uh, uh, Labor Day weekend. Yeah. Though, so that was last weekend, as, as you can imagine, the schedule gets pretty busy around the holidays. Um, oh, you know I, what? I did watch some stuff. Oh, wait, 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 what do you got? I'm really excited. There is a um, – I'm a big fan of the um, uh, Dying Light games. Oh the, yeah, the parkour zombie em up. Yeah, yep. Um, I can't do them. You can't do them. Fucking freaks me out, man. The first one, the first game, night, 
terrifying. That first night is terrifying. Yeah. So good. And um they they're releasing a uh, an expansion for the second game that brings back the main character uh from the first game and it's like, "Oh, he's al- wait, he's alive now? Wait, oh, what?" Oh, nice. But like he also got infected at this at the end of the game. And like there's this whole thing with with him becoming the like the bad bad infected thing Mm -hmm. and like it's a whole thing i'm like he's alive what oh i need to figure out what this is and then i found out that because i have the uh, deluxe edition that i just have it for free when they release it i'm just like yeah oh i'm playing this when this comes out oh that's cool (laughs) so i'm excited i love a good bonus for something like that yeah Um, i'm excited i'm still working my way through uh fucking prince of persia the i think sands of time sands the new the new one i don't well i know is that the name of the new one? Because I thought Sands of Time I don't know. was I the, think Sands was the of movie. I think Sands of Time is like the old one or that fucking Jake Gyllenhaal movie that's <laughs> <The> bad. Movie. <laughs> it's real bad. Um, <laughs> but whatever the new one's called, the like platformer style Prince yeah. of Persia, it's, it's really fun. I just, I got to a boss battle that I am having a difficult time getting past. And at a certain point, I'm like, fuck it, I'm, I'm out until I... Decide to go back in, um, but mm. you know I will. I'll probably just explore the map some more and see if I missed any upgrades, and then go back and try it again with fresh uh, reflexes. Yeah. Um, let's see what else. Oh, I did watch some stuff. There is a interesting, actually, Michael Bay uh, directed and produced um, uh, documentary on HBO called a Bo- Michael Bay documentary. Yeah, it's called about serial killers. It, what I know, right? That's kind of what piqued my interest. And you're watching, uh, like, as you're watching it, you're like, I could see the Michael Bay peppered in here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but it's it, it's the documentary itself, pretty interesting. Uh, it's called Born Evil. Hmm. That's on HBO. I think it's like five episodes, and I'm pretty sure they're all out now. As we're recording this, as this episode comes out, they definitely will all be out. But a pretty pretty interesting show. It was like, uh, oh, the, some of the craziest serial killers you've never heard of. And he's right. I have never heard of any of them. <laughs> um, it's a very niche story. And it's like, yeah, you know, this guy got locked up for doing a murder. But then, it, like, the more stuff you find out, you're like, well, fuck me, man. This guy might have killed. Who knows how many? Hundreds of right, people. Yeah. Or he could just be a fucking lunatic because he is crazy. But then the stuff he does and doesn't do, you're like, well, he's not that crazy because he f- understands what he's doing. Uh, it's weird. He starts his confessions out because when he finally does get locked up and they put him in a in a cell with somebody else, he thinks the person that he's in a cell with is Jesus Christ. Not, oh. not on a bike. Not no no bikes. Yeah, just, no bikes. Just, just Christ. Just no Christ. Bike. <laughs> just Christ. All no Christ. Bike. No bike. <laughs> Christ. No bike. Oh, he's a runner in this scenario, not a biker. Um, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> uh, yeah. So the guy's a f- absolute fucking Looney Tune, hmm. and it turns out maybe his brother was also a serial killer, and maybe also his father was. Uh, Oh. Uh, right. So hundreds and hundreds of people, maybe potentially. I, you don't know. I'm not that far through it. Uh, I think I've watched three episodes so far, but I'm really like weirdly into it. I didn't think I was going to be very interested in a Michael Bay directed anything after the last Transformers movies. Um, and by the last, I mean all of the Transformer movies, with the exception of maybe that Bumblebee movie that wasn't terrible. But I don't think he directed that. <laughs> it's a different fucking guy. Hold on, I gotta find out real quick. Uh, <laughs> Bumblebee movie, baby. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, directed Bumblebee. by Travis Knight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking weird. It's the only one that I was like, this one's not bad actually. Just uh, fucking different, yeah. totally different director. Yeah. Did not know that they kept the weird stuff. Just let Bumblebee talk. Nobody fucking cares. That he has a weird radio dial voice. Yeah. It's like they're, they're fucking sentient. That's his gimmick, though. They're sentient machines from a different fucking world. Let him. He he. All that's all he can do, really. He's AM a Camaro. Radio? 
he he's he's a yellow Camaro. Sometimes he's a Beetle. Sometimes he's oh right yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> He can just be what if he yeah. wanted to be a yellow toaster. He's a, he's a he transformer. Can, he could do that too. Yeah, that's what they. Yeah. That's what they do. Uh, fu- I don't know. Fuck, still kind of a weird movie. It was better than the other ones, though. Give it that. Um, Did you see Rise of Beast? Or yeah, whatever it's going to be. yeah. The di- it's the worst. <laughs> it's the worst one. You see the one where they go and they're like, "Oh yeah, Excalibur is a real sword," and this guy, <laughs> he's another talking like British robot. So they they've already been here in some. How are he's how is he British though? <laughs> because they're all from the same fucking place. But this one's just just I don't know, downloaded the BBC and was like, Oh good good day, isn't it? Nice day for uh, chips. Oh, no, fucking man. whatever. Oh, no, um man. what else did I watch? I feel like I watched something else that was actually pretty interesting. Man, I did too, and it was a movie. It was a horror film. Fuck me. What was it called? Damn, I remember it being pretty good, too. Well, while you think about that, I do have a recommendation. Oh, please. It's a documentary. You know the uh, people who did Tiger King? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're getting ready to do one about Vince McMahon. What? Yeah, they're going to do one about Vince McMahon. Really? Yeah, that's oh, coming out. There's down a the lot of nonsense about that oh, one. Oh, fucking, I know. Have you seen a picture of Vince McMahon lately? <laughs> I'm guessing I should. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> I don't even know if that was the right picture. Somebody sent me. They're like, oh, this is a recent picture of Vince McMahon. I was like, holy fuck. This is fuck. a fantastic podcast, by uh, the way. This is podcasting, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Vince McMahon. Oh, yeah. Here we go. You got fucking just for men. Oh, boy. He looks like a, <laughs> yeah, he looks like a fucking Colombian drug lord. <laughs> Look at this shit. You sure that's... Oh, that okay, yeah, that is yeah, him. That's him. He that's put, him. He put on a couple of pounds and he's got like the weirdest perv mustache. Ugh. Like that that fuck me, there's one zoomed out a little bit. Oh, Weirdly looks worse. No, that that be, that beats out my driver's license photo. Yeah. That's way worse than my yeah. photo. He wouldn't be the drug dealer. He would be the human trafficker or something. <laughs> like if yeah, fucking that look is not doing it for him. But you know what? I honestly Vince McMahon is fucking, I know there's all kinds of nonsense going on. I'm sure he's done tons of illegal shit. He's probably a fucking dirtbag. But I tell you what, that dude knows branding. Yeah. He knows how to rebrand something. Yeah. And this might just be an elaborate that. So I fucking don't know. I, if that conspiracy ended up being a real thing, I would be like, okay, that tracks. Yeah. Imagine this. Imagine the documentary comes out, and in five more years, there's a second documentary that comes out about (laughs) how how Vince McMahon (laughs) paid the guys that made Tiger King to make a fake documentary about him. That would be... And it's those people doing that documentary, too? Oh, yeah. 100%. 100%. What okay. was the thing you were going to say? Sorry, I got way no, off topic. No, that, I thought that that's... is hilarious, and I'm glad that you told me about this. But um, Chimp, what was it called? Chimp Crazy? Oh, yeah. Is that on HBO or Netflix? HBO. I was do like, yeah, kn- I saw this come up in my queue somewhere, and I was like, I'm going to watch that. Do you know where it's point. set? <sighs> 1992, um, Los Angeles. Festus, Missouri. No. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? Yeah. That's 30 minutes away. <laughs> Don't you work in Festus? I work in Festus. The show is set in Festus, Missouri? Yeah. What? Where? Like it, <laughs> at a, the Dairy Queen? Like... <laughs> I told my coworkers about this get earlier today. We got so off track. It... it I should not have brought it up because it stopped our production for like 10 minutes of us just frantically Google searching to ensure that A, it actually happened in Festus. It did. And B, is it on the Wikipedia? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> so what was going on in Festus, Missouri? Like, fill me in without huge spoilers. Is it just like an illegal chimpanzee dealing ring or something? Or a legal Essentially. Chimpanzee? Yeah, okay. All right, well. That's it, huh? They're and going from fucking Tiger they're crazy. King. Crazy. They're going from fucking Tiger King to fucking Festus, Missouri chimpanzees yeah. farm to fucking Vince McMahon. <laughs> Something stinks. You know what I mean? I think. I think. I mean, just get on board with it, everybody. Just let's just assume it's true. 
Let's assume it's a fake Vince McMahon documentary. <laughs> Holy shit. I... Wow. No, I have to watch it now. Like, right? I'm watching it as soon as you leave. <laughs> I'm at least queuing it up. I'm not actually going to watch it. It's getting pretty late about my bedtime. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's see here. I, I couldn't think of the thing that I was thinking of because you're like, hey, you know what happened 30 minutes up the road in the 90s? Fuck, no. Somebody sold Michael not Jackson the 90s. to a chimpanzee. Not the 90s. 2000? 2009. What the fuck? <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> I might know these people. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> Crazy. But like, I know that son of a bitch. <laughs> that guy owes me 50 bucks. Oh, shit. Uh, All right, well, that's good. Uh, it's getting a little late. I, I'm about out of steam here, so yeah, we're going to go I'm ahead. And, we're going to go ahead and call it there. I uh, appreciate you listening. Um, do me a solid if you would, and tell 1,000 of your friends about this stupid show. Um, you can always reach the show uh, as just two movies at gmail.com. And um, what else do I normally say at the end of these? Hmm, oh, thanks for coming, Nate. Yeah, yeah, it's, and until it's, next it's time, you guys aren't gonna start sucking each other's dicks, are you? Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're a one eyed Batman. Can I make a suggestion that doesn't involve violence, or is this the wrong crowd? Maybe we should call in a bomb threat to Houston. I think it's free beer night at the Astrodome. The Jedi. Bob, we don't fight with guns. We fight with the mind. Guys in business is a boomer. But that is one big pile of shit. <laughs> Joe gone. It's Just Two Movies is a production of Blue Cheese and Bacon Studios and can be found wherever you get your podcasts. All right, special thanks for the people who helped make this show. That is going to be uh, Rustafari, God Sized and Growing, and Sons for our music, uh, Lampladder Productions for our artwork. Oh, yeah, I definitely want to throw out a thanks to Dave, who takes care of our YouTube platform, and uh, Justin, who has started doing our TikTok. Uh, you can find us on TikTok at Just Two Movies Pod. Yeah, so hit us up on socials and uh, tell your friends and leave us a like if you could. That's the show. B I E H N. B I B I E Michael Bain. Michael Bain? B Bain Ben? <sighs> we'll talk about it. <laughs> I'm really curious of what Google would say how it's pronounced. I don't know. <laughs>